Hi everyone, welcome to the session. I'm Goldie. And I'm Sarah. And it is post 420 week here in Denver, Colorado. And we want to do a recap of what a fantastic time we had from April 16th all the way through April 24th because that's how we do it here in Denver, Colorado. Right now we are blowing up a bag. Heck yeah, I believe we have some spicy disco in here, uh, which is just like a really happy, mood enhancing, feel good kind of strain. Uh, I believe we picked it up from the clinic. Ooh, uh, ooh. And I have a oil pen here in my hand, compliments of Jet Cannabis, uh, a new CO2 extracted oil that just rolled out on the market, which tastes so delicious. So, to give you guys the inside scoop of what happened here um, over 420, it started off uh, April 16th and uh, we were graced with a lovely snowstorm. Uh, yeah, uh, you could say lovely. Uh, kind of took down our city a little bit, um, <laughs> if you will. Our uh, 420 rally that was supposed to be going on featuring Wiz Khalifa and Little Wayne unfortunately got rescheduled. They did give refunds to anyone who had bought the backstage or VIP tickets, which ran, I believe, like $150. Um, they decided to reschedule it for June. Um, so, by the grace of whoever's looking over us, hopefully we won't get snow then. Yeah, but you never know. You, <laughs> you never, never know. know. We're in Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. We're in Colorado. But at least that got rescheduled. So Yeah, and it like, I mean, we started Friday with some beautiful 72 degree weather. We got our snow on Saturday that stuck around till about Monday. And then we had a beautiful 420, actually. I think we were really lucky. We were. It did not snow on our pot Christmas here. Um, but on Sunday night, Sunday the 17th of April, um, I was invited to the Headies of State party, which was basically a bunch of industry leaders that came together for a cool party that was sponsored by Dixie Elixirs and PAX. It was an awesome event. There was a PAX at every single table. They had like a nice little flight set up of four different strains for you to choose from at the table, along with little chillum. So it was a really nicely done event. Uh, Rome from Sublime sang, and it was just really cool to kind of get, get in touch with everyone again, get back in touch with everyone again, and see how their businesses have evolved. And you know, I have to report that this industry is doing well, businesses are doing well, and companies are ready to take what they have going on to the next level, so that's always exciting. Heck yeah. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to go to the um, High Times Cannabis Cup Award Show, uh, which was on the 19th. Uh, it was a really fun event over at the Ogden. Unfortunately, as we said before, this year they did not have the expo, so there was no samples. With that said, I saw quite a few little clouds starting to puff up in the crowd, and uh, the award show was awesome. They did about the first half of the award show, uh, then George Clinton came on with the Parliament Funkadelics, and then uh, they had the other half, and then Cypress Hill came on. Uh, so it was just a really fun-filled night of dancing and award-winning. Um, I believe MMJ came out with the majority of the wins, which was pretty cool. Yeah, and she's talking about MMJ America, which is a dispensary group here in Denver, Colorado. If you do have an opportunity, go try their Larry OG. It's delicious, and the Cannabis Cup winner. Yeah. So on 419, um, I had the privilege of speaking in front of the International Event Society uh, to a bunch of event planners actually um, on the topic of how to incorporate cannabis into your events. And um, I will tell you this was a new experience for me. I, um, I don't tend to speak in front of people, but clearly now I do tend to speak in front of people because we're having this dialogue now. But it, w it went really well. I, I have to say it was kind of interesting. I did take a puff of this delicious jet vape pen in front of the whole crowd and there was one gasp. But uh, you know, it was nice to inform a bunch of people that may or may not be cannabis consumers about what's going on here, how you can choose strains based on a desired effect that you want to achieve, and how that can really play into the tone of the event that 
they are setting up and the event that's being taking place. So it was um it was really cool and my dad was there. So if you guys get a chance, uh, check out our Facebook page. He's there with a rose surrounded by beautiful women, and uh, yeah, it was really fun. Mm. And it was called the uh, Green Rush event, right? The Green Rush event. Hashtag Green Rush. Mm -hmm. And it was at the uh, Space Gala, which was beautiful. I mean, there was awesome art to check out. I did take a couple puffs before I went in to go watch Goldie speak, and uh, it was just a really cool environment. Good people and, like, really awesome art. Yeah. Talking about weed. Talking about weed, and you know, a lot of cool things are coming of that. I've, I've gotten a few phone calls and people are actually um, taking notice to cannabis now here in the Denver market and are trying to dabble in how to actually incorporate it into their event. So, you know, maybe next time you go to a party, you'll see a nice little vape station set up. Yeah, or like a nice little weed wedding, <laughs> uh, which they were talking about. And uh, speaking of which, on 420, we decided to go down to the uh, 420 rally at Civic Center Park, which didn't really end up being a rally. It was more of just like one really big citywide smoke sesh. Yeah. Um, I didn't see any like rallying signs or anything like that, unfortunately. But uh, it was really cool to just do some people watching. And we actually watched some people get weed married. Uh, there was a guy in a all pot leafed suit and a girl in a wedding dress which was kind of funny to see them strolling through i mean what says love like getting married on 420. yeah man they were so happy they were so happy and so high they were so happy and high and you know the event was really cool it was very peaceful there were a bunch of different groups of cops kind of scattered throughout the park and they kind of let people do their thing it was really nice and then around five o'clock they kind of started shutting it down which which was fair. We had four. They gave us four twenty. Four twenty to five o'clock. Oh, done. Yeah. Done deal. Easy. We'll take it. We'll take it. And then, uh, and then later on in the evening, Sarah and I went to uh, Ophelia's Electric Soapbox uh, to go hang out with the crew of uh, the Dank Crew and uh, listen to Leftover Salmon and. Man, it was so much fun. Such a good event. I mean, amazing people, um, just amazing music, really good vibes. I mean, out of blast. I did have to Houdini after smoking a couple too many joints. Yeah, she definitely Houdini'd. I, I like rocked it out like a champ. I don't want to out myself about how much I smoked, but the next morning when I woke up and answered the phone, um, I sounded like this. Say sessions, Goldie speaking, and I recognize that I may have had one too many puffs the night before, but uh, you know it happens, and it was so much fun. Uh, I do have to say, even though I'm consuming this big bag, I am ready to take a little mini break from smoking. Um, with this big 420 week, there was a lot of consumption going on, and. Uh, I probably overindulged in weed, overindulged in pizza, donuts, burgers. Yeah, I had a problem with donuts this week. I'm pretty sure I had like two Buddha donuts a day for the duration of 420 and uh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, I would call that a session. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, please continue following us on all of our media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, check out our weekly blog called Local Sessions. Uh, we are posting it weekly on our City website. Sessions website. Website. It's called City Sessions Denver. You see how special I am at the end of these sessions. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. What? Feels good. It does. I feel like good. all of this. Front, I know, right? Unfortunately, it's gonna get windy and rainy. I'm not really sure why. It's okay though. All right. If you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. The sun will eventually come out. The sun will come out. And if it doesn't, the sun will come out tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's your bottom dollar. That tomorrow. There will be sun. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yes, that happened. That happened.